Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to convert Canva website to WordPress. So the first thing they should do here is to open WordPress on the other tab. And as you can see on the other tab, I also have my Canva account. Okay, so just make sure that you have logged into your correct account. Then once you're here on your WordPress, Next is we have to open a new tab and then go to our Canva website. So this is just an example Canva from Rance Suarez. Thank you so much for making this one. Okay, so the next thing that we should do now is to convert this website to WordPress. Okay, so to do this one, just have to simply click on the share option or the share button at the top right of your screen. Or you can also publish this website first so when you click on publish website all you have to do here is to type out your website url okay so once you found your website url you will then just have to type out publish website okay so assuming that we already published this website just simply click on the share button okay that's right then the next thing that you should do is just have to find the embed option so just click on see all okay so here is the embed code let me just look for this one okay so this one right here just simply click on it and then just click on embeds embed your design and medium wordpress or your own website it will always update automatically now just simply click on embed and right here you have your html embed code and the smart embed link so i'm going to use the html embed code so just click on copy and then once you have copied the code for this website just go back to wordpress and then right here just go to the post okay and then click on add new post okay that's right and then just wait for a couple of seconds and then once you're here you just have to type out a title for your post so i'm going to name this one as a sample website from canva okay so let me just type out this words sample website from canva okay so i'm just correct the spelling and then after that just click on the plus icon and if you happen to lose the plus icon you can see another plus icon at the top left of your screen beside the wordpress icon so this one just click on it and then if you cannot find here the html you can actually use the search bar at the top and then type out html okay so embed html just click on this one and then once you're here just have to write here the html or paste here the code that, that we have copied from our canva website okay so let me just go back right here and then copy the code once again and then go back to wordpress now i just have to paste it right here and then after pasting the code to see if this code is working we can actually click on the preview option beside the html so this one okay that's right and as you can see our website is now working so let me just use the arrow if the other pages are working as well now if you are planning to change or to make some changes from canva then you have to copy the code once again and then paste it here on wordpress to update your edits so for example i'm going to change the text right here so i'm going to type out hello and then going back here on wordpress as you can see we cannot find here the hello text that we have changed it is because we have to click on share once again and then we need to embed another code for the updated version or update the design of our canva so let me just do it again let me just go back to canva and then let me embed this code okay next is we are going to click on html and delete all of the code that we have pasted earlier okay and then after that just paste here the new code 
And as you can see, we have successfully added or updated our Canva website. Okay, so say for example, if you would like to, you know, create a blog and you want to import it as well here on WordPress. So you can actually do that, but I can show you that one after this step right here. So let me um, make another changes for the images that I use. Okay, and then after adding the images, let me try that again on my WordPress if we make changes okay so let me just navigate to the next page and as you can see the images are still the same so to do that what we did earlier is we are going to copy another code and then delete the code that we have basted earlier okay so right here just click on the share button and then go to the embed and then copy the code okay right here we are going to delete the recent code and then paste the new code that we have copied and let us try to see and as you can see we have now our new images next thing that you should do is to save your edits now let us proceed to adding a blog here on WordPress okay so the blog is from Canva as well so to do that one we just have to click on this plus icon okay so before that let me just go back here on Canva and then using the search bar I am going to type up blog okay so I think I am going to use this blog right here so credits to the rightful owner of this uh, design thank you so much for making this one so next is just click on the share button and then go to see all and then click on the embed option once again okay and then click on embed now you just have to copy the code or the html embed code and then right here just type or to choose a block Okay, so for this one, I'm going to paste right here and then click on preview. And as you can see, we have successfully added here now our Canva website, our Canva blog. The next, we just have to save this one. So Canva's drag and drop design interface is beginner friendly, allowing you to create professional looking graphics without needing extensive design skills. And then Canva also allows you to save brand assets like colors, fonts, and logos, making it easy to maintain consistent branding across your website. So that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!